Today I'm going to teach you how to make awesome eye makeup in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com seven days a week where we make learning Photoshop and photography a lot of fun. And today we got a really cool tutorial. We got a couple questions last week and people have been seem to be obsessed with like eyes and makeup and stuff like that lately. So we're just doing a bunch of episodes on that. And speaking of suggestions, that's how we create our episodes. So if you guys have any other ideas as you're watching this video, leave them in a comment right down below this episode and we're gonna get to those. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make some eye makeup in Photoshop. Now I'm not just gonna grab a brush and on the picture and say, okay, that's eye makeup. I'm actually gonna teach you some of the fundamentals on where you're gonna actually be applying things like eyeshadow, like, uh, highlighter and dodging and burning and like actually using the same principles that a makeup artist would use to enhance the shape of a face, except we're gonna be doing this in Photoshop. I'm also gonna show you guys a great place where you guys can download some eyelash brushes, brushes which is gonna make adding eyelashes to your photos really quick and simple. So our image we're working on today is by Topher Ferguson. It's an awesome image and you can see it's a nice portrait and there already is some like makeup in the shot. So we're not starting at zero, but I'm gonna show you guys some really nice fundamentals on how to add more makeup and uh, really how to get the most out of a photo like this. So what, the first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer and I'm gonna talk about some of the fundamentals of kind of like makeup and you know how it's applied and where and why and things like that. Okay, now if you guys are uh, applying makeup to yourself or friends and things like that, maybe this will help you out as well in real life. Okay, so basically when applying makeup, you can see she already has a little bit of eyeshadow. So we've got a few different types of makeup here, right? We've got eyeliner, which basically exists right above the eye and sometimes you can put it below the eye as well. Okay, we've got mascara, which is, you know, for the eyelashes themselves. So they're gonna make those stand out a little bit more. And then we've got eyeshadow, which, you know, exists right here above the eye. Eyeshadow can come out, you know, a little bit farther than this as well. Now it really depends on where you place all these different elements. You don't want to go too high with your eyeshadow because you want this area below the arch of an eyebrow to stay relatively light. Having this be a little bit lighter is going to make the eyebrow look like it's actually a little bit higher. So creating a light point is going to make this look like it's a little bit higher. Just keep that in mind, whenever you're working with makeup or you're retouching and things like that, anything that's a little bit lighter on the face is going to look like it's kind of like coming out towards the viewer a little bit more. Anything that's darker is gonna be looking like it's pushed in. That's why if you have like dark eyes or something like that, you know, like dark area around the eyes, bags and things like that, it's gonna look like your eyes are like really sunken into your head. So you wanna lighten those up and it's gonna like pull them back out so you get a little bit nicer for a plane. So that's the idea here. This area is a little bit lighter, but that's helping you get a little bit more definition on your brow. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and start by applying some we're gonna do some eyeshadow because eyeshadow is a big one. It's super easy to do here in Photoshop. And there we go. And it's a great place to start. So we're gonna grab our brush tool. I'm gonna to choose like a regular soft edge brush here. There we go. And I'm gonna change the flow down to about 10% opacity. Or sorry, <laughs> I'm just changing my flow to 10%. Opacity is a totally different thing. Flow basically exists like if you start painting on an image, and you keep on going over the same place over and over and over again, it'll build up. Whereas opacity just kind of lays the same amount down, whether you go over it and over it again, it, it doesn't matter. So that's why I like flow a little bit better. So we're gonna use a 10% flow and I'm gonna change my layer blend mode from normal here to multiply. Now I'm gonna start painting. You notice I've got a large brush, okay? We've got a large brush. I know this is gonna cover areas like the eye. I realize that, but we're gonna use a masking tool in just a little bit to help that out. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of paint a little bit too much here. We're gonna paint too much and then I'm gonna kind of take some of it away and we're gonna explain why we're taking it away, how and where. Okay, so the reason I'm using a large soft edge brush right here, my hardness is at zero, is because we can see we have a really nice soft edge where this makeup just kind of ends. Now I know it comes out like it does wind up affecting the eye, but that's not a huge deal. We can just use a layer mask and then we can just layer mask out this way. I'm just gonna paint black on my layer mask to layer mask it away from the eye itself, right? So I would much rather, and we're just gonna get it away from down there as well. I would much rather have, you know, a very nice soft edge here. Look how like natural that looks rather than just, you know, 
trying to use a small brush and then have it be a little bit jagged. So it's a lot easier to just mask that away. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let's right click and I'm, I'm gonna apply that layer mask because I, obviously I don't want it over the top of the eye. Now we're gonna put another layer mask and I'm just gonna use this to, same brush here. I'm gonna use this to kind of illustrate some of the principles behind you know makeup and actually where you can apply this eyeshadow. So it depends a lot on the shape of the person's eye, but generally you wanna make a person's eye like look a little bit larger and kind of like open that out. So what you wanna do generally is avoid a lot of eyeshadow towards the inner side of the eye. You can see if I take some of the eyeshadow out from the outside and we have a darker area here on the inside, it tends to make the eyes look like, you know, like they're kind of like pushing in towards each other and uh, it'll, make, it'll make them look a little bit smaller. Now, if I, let's just go ahead and paint white on my layer mask on the outside and then black here on the inside. All right, so if I leave it like this, it's gonna make the eyes look a little bit bigger. So it kind of opens them up and does the opposite. So generally when applying makeup, you want the interior of the eyes to be a little bit lighter and you want the exterior right up here to be a little bit darker. Now, another trick used by makeup artists is basically to create kind of like an arch between where you have your eye and your eyebrow. So you, we did last week an episode on creating eyebrows. Basically, you want like a straight line from your nose here to your eyebrow. So about a straight line from there is where your eyebrow should start. Go to the edge of your eye and something like this is where you want your arch to be. And then here to this point, there we go, is where you want the edge of the eyebrow to be. Now, we're gonna be basically doing the same thing here with the eyeshadow. You can use eyeshadow to kind of connect the eye to the eyebrow. And that's just gonna create like a really nice form. So all this eyeshadow here that's underneath that invisible line right there, we wanna get rid of that because that's going to make the eye again look nice. It's gonna make it look droopy and we really don't want that. So we're gonna use our brush tool and we're just gonna paint with black right here. And I'm just on my layer mask here. There we go. And we can just give that like either a hard edge, you can see like this is you know popular in makeup sometimes, or let's just make it a soft edge brush, paint it back a little bit and you can go a little bit softer with this as well. And that's gonna be a little bit more of a natural look. All right, so we're gonna bring it, this in a little bit here. There we go. And then paint it back out a little bit. So, and I'm just playing with my layer mask here. So now we can see something, we've learned basically some of the principles of how to use eyeshadow and kind of like where to apply it. So we're gonna get something that looks, you know, actually good. So <laughs> something we would actually see, you know, someone apply. Okay, that looks great. Now let's go ahead and choose our colors here because I'm mostly gonna focus on this eye, by the way, because this eye is, you just do the same thing for the other side. Okay, so now that I've painted that, I paint, I use like this magenta just pretty much so we can see what's going on. But now you can choose your color. So I'm gonna click right here on our layer and I'm gonna hit Command U, which is gonna bring up our hue saturation. And now I can just change my hue to anything I want. If we wanna go a little bit more towards the orange side to kind of like match what's going on in the lips, we can do that. We can increase our saturation or we can decrease our saturation. We can make this lighter or darker, either one. So just get a color down, get it in about the right shape, and then you can go ahead and start changing your shade. All right, I'm gonna choose something that is a little bit more natural here. Like something, you know, usually we're seeing like browns or, you know, dark grays or really dark desaturated blues and things like that. Not often will you see something that's super colorized. So I'm gonna hit okay there. And there we can see, we have a nice natural effect that looks really good, even though it's done in Photoshop. So the next thing we wanna do, and this is just kind of correct the fact that, you know, we did wind up, we did make this in Photoshop. So it's not taking the skin into like account. Basically anytime you have like, you know, skin texture, this, it, it looks too perfect in Photoshop. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna double click right out here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to this layer style here and I'm gonna basically hold Alt or Option where it says underlying layer for the lighter area. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow all the little specks of light, like the lighter areas in the skin where you see the actual skin texture, it's gonna allow them to come through and you're, have, you're gonna have an effect that's a lot more realistic. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click right over here and just drag from the right to the left. And you don't have to come very far, just you know somewhere right about there. There we go, and we can see the difference here. So there's the before and we'll just drag that right to about there. And you can see the actual, the little bit of texture coming through. So now you have an effect, but the highlights still come through. So it's gonna look a lot more realistic and natural. So that's step one. 
<laughs> I could have just done it really quickly, but I wanted to explain it so you guys could really understand it. Okay, now the next step we're gonna do is this is gonna be what's called below the fold. So the fold is right here. Let's just create a new layer so I can show you this. This is the fold right here. It's basically where the eye um, eyelid kind of folds over on itself. So a lot of the time you can go a little bit darker makeup here below the fold and then you want to go lighter above the fold. And depending on your eye shape, sometimes you want to leave all this above the fold completely. You don't want to put any eyeshadow eye on there or in this case just color. All right, we're going to choose a color and I'm going to choose green just to show you that it really doesn't matter what color you start off with here. We're going to change our layer blend mode to multiply which is just basically going to darken everything we paint over. And now we're going to get another color here below the fold. All right, so we're using that natural line in the eye to kind of dictate where this eye makeup is going to go. This is way easier than doing it in person, by the way. All right, let's choose a regular brush, and I'm just going to grab an eraser and just kind of smooth this out a little bit. So an eraser and just erase a little bit from the left to the right. And I'm at a flow of about 40%, so you can see it's just, I'm kind of allowing that to blend in really nicely. And the green really actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it would, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, but we can still change that as well. So just click on this layer and you can hit Command U and then you can change your hue to whatever you want. In this case, we can go, you know, we could go with a blue, we could go with a green. Let's go with something like this. All right. And generally, again, I would probably lower the saturation and, you know, this is like a more realistic, like, you know, <laughs> something people would actually wear. But because this is a really cool photo with, you know, we've got flowers in her hair and everything like that. I don't mind exaggerating this a little bit. So let's bring our saturation up and our darkness down a little bit. All right, maybe we'll bring our lightness up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So you can see it's a little bit subtle, but it definitely has some effect there. So this is the other key with makeup, especially in real life and in Photoshop as well, is you wanna do a lot of layering. Like don't try to get everything in one go. That's just that's not how it works. So doing this, you know what? I just decided that I don't really like that color. But it's not a big deal. I can just hit Command U and now change it again. So I can do that at any point in time. So you can see there's just right below the fold and then here we have the eyeshadow. So there's without anything and there we go. So you can see that really didn't take too long and it's, it, it looks really great. It looks nice and natural. Again, we're gonna focus mostly on this eye. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and group those two layers, we're gonna actually bring in an eyelash. And there's there's a lot of ways you guys can do this. You could go about creating your own eyelashes. I spent like 30 minutes creating my own eyelash and then I did some searching on the internet and other people have already done this. And normally I'm like, okay, just do everything yourself in Photoshop. But in this case, I think that I found a link where some great eyelashes ex exist. So I'm just gonna use theirs and I'm gonna tell you to use theirs too because they're already great and they did all the work for you. You don't have to do anything. So basically we're heading over to Obsidian Dawn Dot com and uh, we're gonna put a link to this right on the screen as well as in the description and there's just a whole pack of these eyelash brushes all you do is download them so you can hit download right here and it's gonna take a second and then go ahead and just download them onto your computer there we go now I'm gonna click on the download link here and double click on these brushes Photoshop is gonna automatically open and now if I hit my B for the brush tool and right click I have all of these really great eyelash brushes that are loaded into Photoshop for me. So just a really quick way to actually load these eyelash brushes and, and uh, I'm a big fan of these. I, I just started using them today, but they, they look great. So I'm gonna just choose an eyelash. You have tops and in a lot of the cases you have bottoms as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna choose an eyelash that looks pretty good here. You can play around with these shapes. And basically you're not gonna be painting with these, right? You're just gonna hold Alt or Option to grab the color of the eyelashes that already exist. Then you're gonna size your eyelash. There we go. And I'm pretty lucky because the eye shape we're, that we have here actually matches pretty well with the eyelash brush. And when you're good to go, you just make sure your opacity and your flow are at 100% and then just pretty much figure out where you want them to go and then click. There we go. And that adds eyelashes. Couldn't get any simpler than that. So my props out to Obsidian Dawn. You guys did a great job with these eyelash brushes. We do have some bottoms as well. Um, I haven't tried those as much. Here's some closed eyelids and things like that. Um, yeah, some bottoms as well that are a little more sparse. If you wanted to, let's see, I'm gonna create a new layer and you could always use a top one and then hit Command T, right click and say flip vertical. Okay, and then we can squish this down a little bit. So I can squish this down 
Let's bring our control point right over there and go ahead and scale this into place. All right, so you can definitely get bottoms as well. Let's just move that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna hit V and then the number five to bring that to about 50 or 60%, because that bottom lashes should be a little bit less bright, or a little bit less dark, rather. All right, so there's our lashes, basically taken care by a, another awesome company who makes Photoshop easier for everybody. Okay, so that looks great. So we've taken care of both our eyelashes as well as our eye makeup. So there's our before and there's our after. And with these couple techniques, you can make a huge difference with eyes. There's just one more thing that I'm gonna show you guys how to do, and this is using a regular soft edge brush. And this is going to be basically just a little bit of contouring. So if you're curious, earlier we said like keep the arches like right, right below the actual eyebrow, keep that a little bit lighter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a brush tool and I'm gonna go ahead and sample the color here in our subject skin. We're gonna change our blending mode from normal down to screen, and I'm gonna change my flow to 10%. So 10% flow means it's not gonna put down a whole lot. And this is when I paint around like this because I'm using the color that's actually in our subject's skin, and I've got my layer blend mode set to screen, it's just gonna lighten up a little bit. So I'm gonna just bring some of this brightness right up in here to kind of give her a little bit higher cheekbone, okay? Just kind of like sculpt that out. There we go. And that looks pretty good. And again, you want to use a relatively large brush whenever you're doing this. Okay, that's a little bit too visible. It can look a little bit bad. So I what I would recommend anytime you're doing something like this, if you are going to brighten areas up like that, just go ahead and give it a blur. So I'm going to give my load my Gaussian blur and we're just going to give this a little bit of a blur to make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, now Let's, we can move it around as well. You can use your move tool to move that around into the exact right place. Cool, now with our brush tool, I'm gonna the same color, but this time instead of a screen blending mode, I'm gonna go down to multiply blending mode. And now I'm just gonna start to paint in a little bit of a cheek. There we go. And you can use your eraser tool here. Just, it's, a, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get this exactly right. You can see it's not something that's gonna look exactly right, right off the bat. All right, you can see that it's starting to look okay, but it's not, it's not smooth enough. So again, we're, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Gaussian blur and I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice blur as well. All right, and then we can kind of move these around and see how they kind of complement each other. So let's go ahead and group those two together. And there we can see that looks a little bit better. I'm just gonna put a layer mask on this and then mask out the left side a little bit. I think it's working there on the right side, but not as much on the left. Okay, and you can lower the opacity. Again, keep these effects relatively subtle because you, are re you really are changing the way people's faces look. All right, now with the same exact idea, you can do the same thing here. We're just gonna change this from normal to screen again. And I am gonna hit this area right above her eye. And it's just, just gonna bring that out a little bit there we go. It's kind of going to enhance that a little bit. And we're going to give it, again, a little bit of a blur. All right, there we go. And I'm going to erase this right over top of her brow. Okay, so using those techniques, basically what we're going to doing is like lifting her cheekbone a little bit, and I'm lifting her arch a little bit, making that look like it's got a little bit more height to it. You can see there's the before and the after with that. So it really doesn't take too long. Um, if you're actually doing this stuff, it'll take way less time. Just grab a brush and paint it in. I just wanna make sure that I explained everything really well so you guys could go in and do it. So let's go ahead and look at our before and our after. So here's the before and the after. And as you can see, the makeup looks great and it looks totally real. It doesn't look like it's just done in Photoshop. We hope you enjoyed this episode on applying eye makeup. If you have any ideas or things you'd like to learn here in Photoshop, just leave us a comment right down below. We read those comments and that's how we actually create these episodes. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this with every single person you think might help out. People interested in photography and Photoshop and beards and makeup and silly people doing Photoshop. I'll learn you later. Let's do it.